lights. Oh. But what we did was we did an ending where she doesn't actually get... He leaves her, but she doesn't get pushed in the lake. So she's just left there distraught and, and then tries to sing The Bravest Individual, which is what she taught him in the first place when he was having which a panic attack. Which is, of attack. course, how we think of her. And, yeah, and I think it leaves the audience thinking... Oh my gosh! I, I don't know. I like that ending because I like. I don't want the Hollywood ending of everyone going out, going, "Oh, brilliant! She found a new man." Yeah, but she doesn't in the film either. She kind no. of no. She, she goes off with the hippies. Yeah, she goes off with hippies. Let's face it, that's the worst ending of all. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't miss it on anyone. Right? Um, Tamsi must hate being the star of a West End musical right now. I'm sure for someone who's you know it must be a, it must be a terrible. Oh, it's but, such a drag. Yeah. yeah, how great though because you, oh, it's amazing because when you were acting as well, I suppose you you knew you could sing, you knew you could dance, but you weren't being given those opportunities. And there aren't many opportunities now. With Glee, I'm sure we'll see more on TV. Absolutely. But for years there weren't. Um, but to get this kind of role, what a, what a gift. Amazing. I mean, I did think I would always go back and do a musical, but and things were coming up, but they weren't necessarily the right things. And I think when this came up, I just thought the Chocolate Factory had such a great re reputation. If you um, put a few pounds on, you'd make a good na Nancy as well. Oh, it's funny. You know, you I was in the original production of Oliver, were Sam Mendes' production, you know which is what is on there. But I was the rose seller, not Nancy. But now you could do the Nancy. But now I might have the Nancy. You've got to bulk up, though, if you want to be Nancy. No one wants a thin Nancy. Oh, no. <laughs> only, only in the bosom department. Well, that's what I'm talking about. But, you know, <laughs> all over, you want a chubby Nancy. Why do you want a chubby Nancy? Because you want a chubby Nancy. <laughs> you need a homely-looking Nancy that looks like she could hold her own, but she still doesn't manage to hold her no. own with Bill. Yeah, no, exactly. Don't yeah, Bill. Not too huge, then. I think Jodie was brilliant. Jodie was fantastic. And she's a lovely woman, of course. She is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Mark Umbers. Well, let's put some music on, okay? Uh, and what we'll talk about to? Mark. We'll talk about the rest of the cast afterwards. What are we going to put on there? Well, we had some Shirley MacLaine if my friends could see me, but I don't, with, I don't know whether you want to hear that or not. Probably. It's Go a bit on, weird. let's hear funny. Shirley. I, I, mean, I don't know. I just was God on. bless her, Shirley. Although, you know, I, I think she has some strange theories about life and the universe, Shirley. God bless her. But she really can knock out a number. <laughs> They could see me now, that little gang of mine. I'm eating fancy chow and drinking fancy wine. I'd like those stumble bombs to see for a fact. The kind of top drawer, first rate chums I attract. All I can say is, wow, we look of where I am. Tonight I landed wow, right in a pot of jam. What a uh, okay, so we've got with us lovely Thames and Alpha. I'm just looking through the, the uh, programme here from the Theatre Royal Haymarket, where Sweet Charity is currently on. I can't recommend it highly enough, really. If you like musicals, if you like uh, just seeing talented people dance around on stage, and uh, this is the one for you. Thames in superb in the lead role. The whole cast is great. I tell you who really struck me out in terms of the dancing as well. This young lady here, Ebony Molina. Ebony Molina is a wow, legend. Wow, what a performance. She's amazing. And she's even better, if that's possible, at the Haymarket, because she's oh. got a whole new dress she's got a whole new set around her and she just owns the stage that sounded like i was girlfriend a judge actually <laughs> well i went along i don't know if you, oh, you didn't see girlfriend. me when i went to see it but i i, I to this uh, this is true story you're gonna think i make it up i actually bought some leg warmers i heard about this i wore the leg warmers down no you said it on your yeah. show when oh, you had arlene phillips on. i wore my leg warmers they were hard to find you're finding leg warmers for a man these days that's tough i had to go on etsy <laughs> Did you not wear them to the theatre? I wore them! Because it was cold? Or? No, I spent a whole summer wearing around New York dressed as uh, Bob Fosse from all that jazz, <laughs> hoping people think I was in a show. <laughs> not one person came up and said, where are you on, love? <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes. What time, what time do you go up? <laughs> Have you performed in Have you done Broadway? Have no, you performed in no. So that would be, a, if you got the chance, that would be incredible. Of course it would, yeah. I uh, mean... Would you move family over with you as well? Do you have to do that? If you oh, I'd them? have to. I don't yeah. think I could be without them. Yeah. Well, you might have fun. You could start a, life. <laughs> start a whole new life. Start a whole new life. Carry around a much smaller yeah. bag. You're not too old. You could start a whole new life out there. <laughs> Leave them behind. Yeah, Tamsin came in with the biggest... It's, you can't even call it a handbag, no. ladies and gentlemen. It's like a, it's like a hold-all. <laughs> Listen, it? it's got warm-up gear, lunches for today and tomorrow, nappies, stuff for Florence, stuff for me... All sorts, makeup. She's got one of the hobbits in there. You could, you could move in. It's the biggest bag I've ever seen. It's bigger than you. I know. Yeah, yeah. Well, you must get exhausted just carrying that around. Oh, I do. But, you know, I've got to keep my arms and my strength of up. Of course you have. Uh, <laughs> when you're on stage, uh, when you're there with the audience, in the moments when you're not performing, can you relax and enjoy the other performances? Can you enjoy that? Or do you have to stay in the moment? Do you have to stay in the character? Yeah, no. Uh, I'm, I'm off stage twice, during which time I'm changing very so quickly furious, into something. Yeah. So I never really get a chance to sit and watch anything else. Sometimes I can, I, I can hear it, I can hear the response and stuff, but I can't really sit at the side. I never sit down. 
Mm-hmm. Who understands this view? Who's on if you're not on one night? Tiffany Graves, who plays... Here, she's there. Okay. Helene. So she she's does. the other girl that we do something better, and she's fantastic. She's very good in it as well. Uh, have you seen her performance? So, would no, she, of course so... not, because the only time is yeah. when I've been... I know, on... I wonder whether she... Because she must have rehearsed the whole show. Yeah. With the other cast. Yeah, yeah. So you're not there for that? You've never no, seen No, not at all. I'd be fascinated to see that, but I imagine it would probably put off the understudy of if the... Of course, I wouldn't want her to think I was sitting there spying on her. You'd be sitting there booing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would have said, uh, you know, no, if the understudy is good, that's a lovely thing. And so, but I remember going to see uh, uh, Sweeney Todd in New York, and I was hoping to see Patty Luponi, who I'd seen once already. It was an incredible performance. And we travelled out especially to see it. We'd gone out, we'd co- made it to all that holiday coincide, we turned up, and she wasn't on that day. Oh, no. Who was on? Oh, someone else. <laughs> but were they great? No. I was furious. And I saw one bit, you know, you, do you know, <laughs> do you know you're Sweeney Todd? Bit, not well, you really. know the Beatle, the Beatle, Tom, Tom, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he's on stage there, and she did a big number, you know, more pies, Mr. Todd, and all that. And I saw him turn the other one and go, we got away with it. I thought, don't break the moment for me, <laughs> just because she got through a big oh, number. No. Oh, you dear. don't see any of that on our stage. You do not see any of that when you're going to see Sweet Charity, currently at the Theatre <laughs> Royal Haymarket. Do we have time for... Let's put another tiny bit of music. Yeah, what do you listen to, Tamsin? What do you like to do? Do you get time to unwind? Well, I was just to... listening, just the, the future heads you just had on. You like that? I thought that was brilliant. Good. Well, I good like the other. acapella. I just like the fact that it was. it's quite raw. You can just hear the guitar and their voices. Three or four part yeah. harmony. It reminded me of the alarm, but slightly better. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? No, no, I like the alarm, but I didn't want to do down the future heads in case people don't like the alarm. What, uh, what should we put on there? This is a band from Haringey, North London. <gasps> That's where I live. Anything, are, anything more to recommend them than they're that? Called, they're just location based. They're called Boy Mandeville. Okay. I like that a lot, and, and not just because they're from Hangar. <laughs> okay, that's a good boy, sound. Mandeville. Tamsin Althwaite's about to uh, stand up and lug a huge bag <laughs> over her shoulder <laughs> and trail off like a well-dressed bag lady, essentially, <laughs> to hang around outside the Theatre Royal Haymarket and uh, uh, not outside. See if she gets let in to perform again. This evening. <laughs> uh, hey, did you hear about Ian McKellen when he was performing? I think it was waiting for Godot, and he was he's dressed like a tramp. Oh yeah, this is yeah. in Australia recently. Yeah, he was outside, and someone came up and gave him a dollar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But did you see the pictures of him? Well, he did look like a trap. Yeah, his <laughs> yeah, beard. So, you know, I'm surprised he only got a dollar. Um, good luck tonight, not that you're going to need it, and uh, you're, you. you're on for ages, so if you get the chance, ladies and gentlemen, please do, but go soon, uh, in case Tamsin has to leave it. Tamsin Alfred is in a Sweet Charity at the Theatre Royal Haymarket, and, you know, I know we talk about shows, mm-hmm. but I've been to see it, and I cannot recommend it highly enough. It's a huge, just a great experience and a marvellous fun night out, so uh, that's Sweet Charity at the Theatre Royal Haymarket. Have a great summer. Thank ahead. you. Uh, I will be seeing you, and uh, if you see a sort of... Slightly out of shape bloke, puffing in leg warmers. <laughs> You'll know who it is uh, in the crowd. Have a again, Tamsin. Thank care. you very much. Thanks for listening. Join us again next week if you can. This is BBC Radio 2 online on Digitland on 88 to 91 FM.